Ankylosaurus. Ankyl Ankyl Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus whole body was armored. Ankylosaurus. Ankylosaurus whole body was armored to protect them from predators. Tremendous amounts of plants in a single feeding time. Brachiosaurus was probably among the heaviest dinosaurs ever lived, as they were able to consume up to 440 pounds or 200 kilograms of leaves and twigs per day. Scientists assumed that an adult Brachiosaurus could live up to 100 years. Compsognathus was one of the smallest and among the first complete fossils to have ever been discovered in the late 1850s. Contrary to the massive size of most dinosaurs, Dilophosaurus had two thin, bony, almost semicircular crests on its head that was possibly used by the males to attract the females. As a pterosaur, Dimorphodon's head was too large when compared to their body length. Due to their short wing fingers, Dimorphodons were also unable to fly continuously. Amos is known as a highly intelligent theropod. This omnivore dinosaur had hollow, bird-like bones, well-muscled hind legs, a long and heavy tail, and two eyes set on opposite sides of its small, narrow head. In terms of size, Giganotosaurus was considered as the longest meat-eating predator. They had a banana-sized brain, and their enormous jaws were filled with 8-inch or 20-centimeter long serrated teeth in a 5-foot or around 1 Iguanodon was a semi-large quadruped herbivore that could run on two legs or walk on four. They had a hinged upper jaw, turtle-like horny beak, to crop vegetation and spiked thumbs as weapons. Taurus was among the largest pleosaurs to have ever roamed the prehistoric seas. This short-necked marine reptile had massive muscles in its paddle-like flippers and it possibly clamped on larger preys with its jaws and tore off chunks of flesh. Pachycephalosaurus was one of the last living dinosaurs before the mass extinction day of dinosaurs. It was famous for their very thick skull roof, which was assumed to be used for defense in battle. This duck-billed dinosaur was known for its flamboyant long crest, which could grow up to 6 feet or 1.8 meters long. It was perhaps used to produce a foghorn-like sound to communicate with other herd members. Pantoceratops had one of the largest skulls of any land animal ever discovered. It had a large bony plate projecting from the back of its skull, called a frill, and three horns on its face. They walked on four legs and probably charged into their enemies. Lysiosaurus was a long-necked, meat-eating marine reptile that lived during the early part of the Jurassic period. It had four flippers, sharp teeth in strong jaws, and short, pointed tails. Pteranodon was known as the largest pterosaur that ever lived in the Mesozoic era. It had a large head crest as a stabilizer during flight, and from its pouched lower jaw, paleontologists assumed that pteranodons might have hunted like pelicans by this flying reptile had a wingspan of almost 6 feet or 1.75 meters long. Rampharynchus hunted fish by dragging its beak in the water, snap its needle-sharp teeth, and toss the food into its throat pouch. This crocodile-like dinosaur lived on both water and dry land, and was a cold-blooded dinosaur that walked on two feet. A series of spines on its back were used for regulating its temperature and attracting the females.
The Lycosaurus walked on four legs and had a stout body. Compared to Pantoceratops, it had nine horns in total, six spikes on its frill, one on its nose, and two above its eyes.